Woo, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Sales coming to you live from Asia. This is our morning update, guys. Hey, something really big is going to happen in 24 hours. We're going to talk about that. We got uh, uh, Kim Kardashian. She's in trouble with the uh, UK uh, regulators. We're going to talk about huge golden cross for Bitcoin that's going to happen. Bitcoin has broken past uh, $52,000, so this is really bullish news. We're going to talk about uh, Elizabeth Yellen is also saying that uh, crypto is a shadow bank, so we're going to talk about that. Also, we're going to talk about uh, what's going on with Doge coin you know yesterday we hit a critical uh, threshold we went up just over 31 cents and then we got rejected uh, we're going to talk about why we're getting rejected because we have this you know we have this pink uh, box line at 32 33 cents so we really need to break past that and I believe and you can take this to bank that we're going to retest that uh, tomorrow and we should be able to break past that and like I said we have this huge uh, Bitcoin golden cross that's happening right now so this is really cool news you guys are going to love it I'm going to love it so let's jump into the content remember no, this is not financial advice it's just the OG in the house just expressing, expressing my opinion and this video is for educational purposes only guys so with that being said let's jump into it right now Let's get it, let's get it. Woo! And move my face out of the way. And guys, guys and gals, don't forget to go back and watch some of my other videos. You know, we had this uh, My Crypto Exit Strategy. So if you're wondering when the tops are, how to exit, how much you want to exit. And remember, exiting crypto doesn't mean that you, you're out. It means that, you know, you take your profits, you buy a boat, you buy a car, you buy something. You know, that, that's exiting. But if you're just selling your crypto, moving it to stable coins and waiting for the next uh, next bear cycle, that's not exiting crypto. That's just making smart moves, guys. So in my opinion, exiting is when you sell everything, change it to a fiat, and buy something like a house or something. So guys, jump into that video. You're really going to love it. And watch out for nasty scammers in the contents. And please, don't forget to smash the likes right now. Smashy, smashy, smashy. Subscribe, be subscribe. And guys, become channel members. And don't forget to check out our merch. we got lots of merch, guys. We got hats, t-shirts, we got all sorts of great stuff. Yeah, check out the merch, guys. We got lots of merch, so please do that right now, guys. I really appreciate it. So let's jump into the news. Let's get it. So right now we can see that uh, Bitcoin whales yesterday have added uh, 41,550 BTC to their holdings in the last 10 days, guys. So that's almost two billion. Two billion dollars worth of BTC have been added by the whales in the last 10 days. So remember, never swim against the whales, always swim with the whales. That's so important that you guys do that. So this should be telling you something. Always go to Glassnode. You can go to Glassnode, www.glassnode.com. And they've got a really a lot of really, really good on-chain matrix there. You guys are gonna love it. And just guys, do your own research. You cannot just sit back and 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 expect YouTubers to tell you exactly what's going on. Okay, guys, you need to do your own research because sometimes I get it wrong. Sometimes I get it wrong. I'm going to tell you, I get it wrong sometimes. And remember, TA only works until it doesn't. So you guys need to be, you know, responsible for your own uh, risk management and do your own research. It's so important. So this is really bullish. It looks like the whales are accumulating right now. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the fear and greed right now. So yesterday we were at 79. Let's give a minty refresh. And uh, it looks like we're still at 79 right now, guys. So this is really bullish news. And uh, you know, overall, we're seeing that we're moving into extreme, extreme, extreme greed. And that's really important. That's really huge that that's doing that. Hey, if it's a little bit windy, sorry, I'm outside getting some fresh air. So we're moving into extreme greed. And you know, if we look at the rainbow chart right now, we can see that uh, the rainbow chart, we're moving closer and closer to the FOMO area. And you're going to start to see prices absolutely explode, explode like we've never seen before. And we're just, you guys can just see here, that right now we're just on the edge. We're just on the edge of uh, getting into the FOMO stage. And I think that we're gonna start, the whole FOMO stage is probably gonna start in the next 24 hours. And in the next 24 hours, we're gonna have a huge lot of catalyst that's gonna happen. And I really think that Dogecoin is definitely gonna be breaking past that 32, 33 cent uh, resistance level. That's so huge right now, it's huge. We're gonna jump more into that. Let's take a look at some more news that's going on right now. Uh, you know, we got this from uh, Elizabeth Yellen, you know, she's I don't know she just does, she doesn't like uh, crypto remember that uh, she has been uh, paid by Citibank to do a lot of uh, sp uh, speaking and she's got million dollars from that so you have to understand that the large banking institutions they don't like crypto so you know uh, you know, it's paid for play. It's absolutely paid for play, in my opinion. So she recently came out in an interview with New York Times. Uh, Senator Warren continues her public opposition to crypto market. And she said crypto is a new shadow bank. It provides many of the same services without the consumer protections or financial stability to back it, back up the traditional systems. It's like a spinning straw. You know, 
in some respects, she is saying that crypto provides the same services without the banks. She's saying, you know, without the regulations. But here's here's the dichotomy here. It's the regu it's the over-regulated banking system and the fees that they charge, and this is what we don't like. And you know, all of the regulation is too much, and it reduces our financial freedom. So, in some some context, yes, this is negative. But on the other cycle, she's just restating the obvious, which is the problem, and that's why crypto is really flourishing right now. Because basically, crypto provides and allows every single individual to be your own bank. The other big news we've got El Salvador in the house. Uh, El Salvador, Bitcoin has become legal tender now in El Salvador. So hats off to the El Salvadorians. You guys did it, and and you know this is this is huge. This has never happened before in the history of mankind, where we have a country using Bitcoin as legal tender. So this is huge, absolutely huge, guys. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. Some other news right now. Bitcoin cracks 52,000. Why this time it could sustain? Uh, you know, I believe we've got this golden cross thing coming. We've got a lot of momentum. You know, we've got the on-chain data that just just said, I just showed you in the last 10 days, the whales are picking up a ton of Bitcoin. And I really believe that the momentum is happening. We're absolutely on fire. This is it. We have taken the cork out of the champagne, and it's time to go to the moon, guys. Uh, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed that uh, you know, uh, big, the Dogecoin did not break past the 32, 33 level. This is really not good. I don't know what's going on. We're going to talk about it. Uh, I believe that we once uh, Bitcoin has a bit more of a momentum, it's going to take uh, uh, Dogecoin up with it. Some more news right now, and then we're going to jump into it. Bitcoin tops resistance at 51k, and we have this golden cross that's nearing. And the golden cross is really bullish, guys. And uh, also, too, we've seen that Bitcoin is about to is about to break. Uh, out above the 61.8 uh, Fibonacci level, which is really a, a key level for Bitcoin. And we've seen that in the past, Fibonacci ratios such as 61.8, uh, 38.2, and 26.3 identify support, resistance, and trading opportunities. So this is a huge trading opportunity. And I think with the technical analysis saying they were above the 61.8 Fib, and also too, that the fact that BTC are trading above the 200 day moving average gives more confidence that these are critical uh, support levels and we're definitely gonna see things explode. And we have this golden cross that's about to happen and you can see it, you can see it here. That you can see we had a, we had a golden cross here and then we're about to we're about to enter into this zone here, and there's going to be another golden cross happening right now. And as as of recording, Bitcoin has just blown past the fifty-three thousand dollar level. OMG, this is really good news. Let me just change that to support. So you you can see what's happening right now. Bitcoin is taking off. Bitcoin is exploding, and we're going to the moon, guys. And it's just a matter of time before Bitcoin gets to 55k. It's just around the corner. 60k is just around the corner. So you guys should be really pumped up. Pumpity pump pump. So hopefully we can get the Doge in the house and Doge will also uh, be able to go up as well. So we're seeing that this golden cross is happening and this is often a very bullish news. Last time we saw the, the uh, golden cross where the 200 day uh, crosses over the 50 day. Uh, it's about to happen again and this is a really bullish signal. And this could really, this, this could really take Bitcoin up close to $60,000, guys. I'm really bullish. Uh, Kim Kardashian, she's in trouble again. Uh, UK regulators are saying that she's uh, pumping crypto token that could harm investors. She recently had a tweet that came out and she was talking about Ethereum and this and that and she told her, uh, uh, her followers to look at uh, Ethereum. Yeah, okay, um, you know, and they're saying that, you know, this is not good and la di da di blah, blah, blah. So, you know, where do you, where do you cross the line between, you know, free speech and, 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 and a pump? I don't think she was pumping because Ethereum is not some shill coin, some, some rug pull. It's been around a little while, a long time. So I don't, I don't think this is a nothing burger. I think, you know, basically it seems that UK regulators uh, don't like uh, the crypto space at all. Remember, none of this is financial advice. So let's just take a look at the Bitcoin price again. So you can see Bitcoin right now, it's uh, at 53,036, has just broken, just broken past the uh, uh, 53 level. Uh, our next target is going to be around, our next resistance level is around about 57,500. So we have a, we have a resistance level around about 57, 500 like there. Let me just paint that in there for you. Let me get that out of there. Let me face out of there. We draw that horizontal line. So that is our next. That is our next uh, resistance level. And I really believe that uh, Bitcoin is going to crack that 
crack that really soon. We're going to get past that. And it's just a matter of time. We got this golden cross that's probably going to happen. I would say if we look at the tra trajectory of where we're going, it's probably going to happen. I would say right now, right now we're probably around the 10th. I would say around the 15th. 15th, uh, 15th of September, we should see that golden cross coming in. And hopefully by that time, uh, Bitcoin should be at 60K. So mark that on your calendar. The OG said by the 15th of September, we should be at 60K. So hopefully everybody's portfolio is just popping off, pop, 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 pop. I mean, we can see that right now. Solana is on fire. We're going to talk about that. Let's take a look at uh, Ethereum in the house. Ethereum, as I said, Ethereum is still, it's still, it's still kind of, a little bit in the doldrums. It's kind of going sideways right now. It's at three thousand nine hundred and thirty-three dollars, and we have this bull flag that's painted here. I, I I drew this yesterday, and we still have yet to break out. But we keep getting rejected at the four thousand dollar level. We got rejected here once, twice, three times, four times. So hopefully five times is a charm, and we're going to get past that. So it's kind of just weird right now that Bitcoin seems to be moving and breaking out, but uh, the um, Ethereum is just kind of going sideways. And this is another reason why you can see that yesterday, the, on this is a, the daily that we went up above, we got rejected. So this is another reason why Doge also got rejected as well. So let's take a look at the Ethereum pricing right now. The Ethereum uh, fees right now are still pretty high. It's at 2106. And the uh, the uh, if you're going to do any swaps, it's at 64.79. So you can see, still see that the uh, fees for Ethereum are really too high, and this is being fueled by the NFT space, guys. So let's take a look at the Bernie burn right now. So you can see right now that the total amount of Ethereum has been burned is 220,000. Uh, Ethereum, so that's a huge bonfire, guys. Let's take a look at ADA in the house. AD, ADA in the house is really not doing too much. I'm getting really disappointed that it's trading at $2.83. I think that we're probably going to get pushed back down to around about $2.60. We've got this overhead resistance around about $3, $3, and $3 $3.10 in that range, guys. Uh, so let's see what's happening. Maybe people are just standing on the sidelines and waiting for this, uh, these smart contracts to come out. So let's see how that pans out, guys. Uh, let's take a look at Solana in the house. So Solana right now is trading $173, and we hit an all-time high again of $174. So I kind of drew this pattern. We had this bull flag. Uh, we broke out exactly as I predicted. I believe we're probably going to go up. We're probably going to get go up. Uh, and then we're going to get rejected. We could probably get rejected down to the $151 line, which is now, this $151 line is now uh, painting as a crucial support. So hopefully that uh, we can, uh, you know, stay above this $151 because this is a really crucial psychological support level. Uh, but uh, and then we have the $200 overhead level right there. So hopefully we can break past $200 really soon and the momentum right now for our Solana is really parabolic and we're seeing a lot of a lot of stuff happening uh, for uh, Solana you can see those who have been expecting Solana to cool off have been sadly mistaken dominance and crypto discussions related to Solana has soared on a 150% rise since late August in route to its latest all-time high it's $174 just got updated right so we can see that that the the social dominance is soaring again so here you can see uh, this is the price and this is a social dominance so you're seeing that the the social dominance for Solana is still on fire. People are still talking about it. People are tweeting it. And it's just amazing, guys, that Solana is absolutely taking off. It's on a tear. It's going to the moon. Where will it stop? Could we see a $1,000 Solana coming in? At this, at this point, it could happen. It might happen. Get buckle up, guys, because Solana is definitely uh, taking a moonlight. But be careful, guys. Do not FOMO in at the top. I tell you guys this many, many times. I see people on the uh, the, the VIP members uh, WhatsApp group chat. They're talking about, oh, let's buy Solana. Be careful, guys. Be careful. I would wait for a pullback. Do not buy Solana right now. Do not chase the coin. Wait for a, wait for at least a ten. 10 to 15 percent pullback from where it is now before you decide to get back in there will be a pullback on solana things don't go up forever people are going to start taking profits guys some other news is let's take a look at doge right now although doge has been sustaining above the falling wedge and we have this falling wedge that we talked about here we're staying above the falling falling wedge which is really good but uh for the past three days but the bulls are struggling to push the price towards the the 35 uh, cent target so we have this 35 cent target and we keep we keep getting we keep pushing pushing ourselves like yesterday we went as high 
as uh, 32 point six cents, but we got rejected. This is our this is our pink box line. We got rejected. Right now we're trading back down again to 30 uh, 0.307 OMG. So hopefully we can retest that again. But it's getting really it's getting really dramatic for for Doge right now. So the Doge pair could drop through the 20 day EMA to 29 cents if the price bounces off the support and bulls will again try to push the price above 35 cents. If this happens, we could go to 45 cents. But you know what's really important if we cannot if we cannot get past this area here then we have a then you know the next the next support level is 30 then we could see ourselves going down to 28 cents i don't know what's going on with doge doge you need to giddy up you know big bitcoin's on fire i really believe that, i really believe this is because that you know doge often does this kind of things it it plays with you it, it kind of goes up and down and 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 people are you know remember the community that's invested in doge is very very new investors and they a lot of them have paper hands so when they see something going up like this and yesterday you know we saw that we painted we went up uh to uh 32 cents i'm sure that people said that's it i'm out i'm selling so we just need this to consolidate a little bit and start to gain some speed because the bears are still obviously in control right now and we really need this to giddy up all right guys so you know just keep your eye keep your eyes on a doge right now i'm kind of i'm kind of on the fence where we're going to go uh if we you know we need to stay above this purple line that is key that's absolutely key on the one day but you know we we you know we tested this 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 area here this resistance once twice three times so i i believe we're probably going to go back up to it again today we're probably going to get rejected and then hopefully uh by thursday we should be able to blow past it so i'm looking at a thursday time frame uh to blow past that so if i if i thursday time frame around about the 14th right guys so you know let's hopefully that we can blow past that so e i you know guys keep an eye on doge don't give up on the doge doge is looking pretty kind of uh, but i think in the next 24 hours this is going to be really crucial for the doge the doge doge in the house so guys keep an eye on that let's let's take a look at some other news we also have another story uh that's telling us exactly the same thing doge was trading at 30 after attempting to retest the 31.4 resistance mark it's basically the same story. We just really have to be uh, really consistent, and we just have to watch out. Sorry, there's a there's a, a truck going by right now, and they're giving a, a warning message about stay home. It's a lockdown in in, in Vietnamese. So if you understood that, hats off. If you did not, I just translated it for you. Alrighty, guys. So let's take a look at the Doge on the four hour. Uh, right now, we're seeing something pretty much the same. It's a right now at 0.3074. Uh, As I said yesterday, we went all the way up to a uh, 32 cents. We got rejected huge rejections like you're out there doge get down there uh, but uh, luckily we're still above the uh, 200 day moving average the 50 and the 20 day moving average and this is really critical that we stay above that because if we drop below that it's going to be bad news bears bad news bear for the doge and then we can see ourselves definitely going down to the 28 cent level uh, so guys you just have to keep an eye don't give up on the doge yes doge is it's a slow mover right now it's a huge slow mover it's boring it's like getting cold feet i'm panicking but remember don't have all your eggs in one basket you need to diversify all right guys so just don't panic yeah it's it's looking pretty boring uh but we will get past that level we will blow past this pink box the pink box of doom the pink box of doom we need to get past the pink box of doom so we're gonna do it uh we've we've tried to go past it uh, four times already maybe fifth time is a charm so you know and we're seeing something similar with we're seeing the same kind of the same kind of thing that's happening with with ethereum we've tried four four times one two three four four times to get past the four thousand we haven't done it so uh, the fifth time's the charm for ethereum fifth time's the charms for um for uh, Dogecoin. So let's take a look at the uh, Dogecoin on chain right now. Let me just give this a minute to refresh. I want to make sure you got all the fresh, fresh, fresh stuff. It's a beautiful day in, here in Asia. It's, it's, it's warm. We got a nice cool breeze though. It's probably around about 30 degrees right now. So 75% of you in the money, 17% uh, are out and 8% break even. But my price correlation is getting lower and lower with the correlated price between Dogecoin and Bitcoin. And that means that Bitcoin is rising faster than dogecoin so this is not good this is bad so we really need to start taking off and doge is down like one percent on this uh this here so let's take a look at the market marks right now let me just minty refresh that for you do 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 
All right, let me turn on my logarithmic here. So right now you can see the 24 hour volume is 96.27 billion. That's good, the, the volumes are picking up, so that's really good, guys. My Bitcoin dominance has uh, uh, gone up a little bit. It's at 41.01%, and uh, that's another reason why we're seeing Ethereum and Bitcoin also having trouble, because the Bitcoin dominance is going up again. So more people are moving their money back into Bitcoin, uh, and that's probably retailers uh, who are chasing Bitcoin and FOMOing in, because as I said, the uh, FOMO is is going to intensify and we're getting pretty danger close to that right now so get ready for the FOMO alert it's going to be frothy it's going to be foamy people are going to be jumping in and all the diamond handers those of you that have been in the market a long time uh, you love the FOMOers because they just drive the prices up and and they do all sorts of crazy things remember be patient dollar cost average hodl hold on for dear life and don't panic and know when to time the tops and know when to take your profits right so if you're just one of these hodlers that are going to hold forever that's also good uh i'm also one of those people that like to hold forever but i also like to take some profits so i have stable coins on the sidelines so i can buy in so when things go up i actually have my stacks are actually higher because i love to build up the stacks all right guys so and my volume is 96.23 billion so that's really good the market's starting to cooking and i think that we're going to see i did predict that we're going to see 2.5 trillion by wednesday so hopefully that's going to happen and we're going to start to see the volume start to pick up where we start to see average daily volumes on the weekdays like 100 100 billion and then the weekends will drop down to 75 80 that should be kind of the way things are going so let's jump into the markets right now so right now you can see that uh, bitcoin bitcoin let me just give this a refresh i just want to make sure i got the correct data for you I do. So right now, Bitcoin is at 52,677 in the house, and that's 1.63%. Ethereum is just below 4,000, and that's at 3,935 cents. Woo! But we still need to get past that $4,000 psychological level, and we need to do that. And hopefully, when that happens, the doji doji would take off. Uh, ADA is also down. It's $2.87. It's down almost over half a percent. BNB is up again over $500. That's where we need it to be, uh, because if it stays below, 500 then it's going to definitely uh, collapse and we'll see like 450 430 area we don't want to see that so right now it's up almost one percent uh, XRP I don't want to talk about it and uh, Solana in the house is up 22.25 percent right now and that's at 172 dollars and we just cracked all-time highs at 174 so we need to keep on keeping on and Doge is down after we had that huge rejection yesterday at 32 cents we went down we were like rejected I'm so happy it's so sad at that rejection and now we're at 30 uh, 30 cents so you're seeing a mixed bag uni is down again that's to be expected because the SEC is looking at uni link is up uh, Bitcoin Cash is up, Luna is uh, down, uh, ICP is down big, uh, Filecoin is down, so these, this is profit taking, right? Matic is down, VET is still up, so that's really good, we have that in our portfolio. And let's take a look at our portfolio in the house real quick. Let me just give this a quick refresh. Hopefully the internet doesn't break. Don't break on the internet. I didn't. It's pretty hey, It's pretty fast. So right now, this is the Crypto Daily Trade Signal Portfolio. We made this on July 2nd, and we made it in the live stream. Remember, none of this is financial advice. If you use any part of this, uh, if you use any part of this uh, portfolio uh, and you incur losses, you do that at your own risk as we're not financial advisors. So right now you can see that the portfolio is uh, up almost, it's almost 70% up right now. And that's a total profit of 3,518. So that did, that is proof that the OG does know what he's talking about, that our online uh, portfolio simulation is on fire. So if you guys jumped into it, congratulations. If you didn't, well, that's life, right? So right now our total balance is $8,517 and we're just getting gingerly shy of that $10,000. Uh, and if we hit 10,000, 10, we doubled, right? So that's really good news. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to go to my Twitter. And right now we got uh, 2,087 uh, followers. That's pitiful. We got 51,000 subs right now on YouTube. So guys, remember, please follow me on Twitter. If you're not getting any of the notifications and sometimes it happens, go right here and follow, follow, follow. Smash the likes. Subscribe, EYB. Do it right now. So I'm going to jump out of the TV, jump out of your phone and YouTube land and get you to smash that like. Do it, do it now. And don't forget to go to each and each of my videos down below. Remember, not, not this not financial advice. Check out my descriptions and my links. Go and check out Zen Music Addict. You want it. 
check it out. Uh, if you need to chill, this is kind of like moving arts, really relaxing stuff. Check out Zen Music. I do it now. And uh, support the channel with Patreon. Buy the channel on coffee. Go and buy the channel on coffee. I appreciate it. Show your support. If you love what OG is doing, remember, I'm working for you. Show some support. And remember, all of the memberships, all the Patreons, all of the coffees, all of that goes to charity. And uh, check out my merch. And do go and check out the... Go check out the NFT collection. Get it while it's still still reasonably cheap. Uh, you may want to check it. And if you just go there, it's it's education. Go to OpenCIO and type in Digital Asian, and then our NFT collection will come up. And guys, don't forget to check out the merch. Our baseball caps are back in the house. We got T-shirts. We got hoodies. We got all sorts of stuff. You guys are gonna love it. And don't forget to check out the backpack, the backpack, the pillows, the water bottles, the muggy mug mug. So that's really good news, guys. So with that being said, I just want to say God bless each and every one of you. I love you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Go with God. Be with God. Be blessed, guys. See you in the next one. Woo!